In this video, we are comparing the Puma Fast Art Elite against the Adios Adios Pro 3, whatever it's called, and then for good measure, we've got the Socket Endorphin Pro 3 as well. What is up, everybody, and welcome to our sort of super shoe shakeout, uh, shoe off. Let me know in the comments which one do you think we should use for the title. More importantly, are you one of the 67% of people that haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel? Is that you? If it is, I want you to smash that subscribe button before you do anything else. Okay, people, so, I thought this would be a good video, actually. Uh, three different colorways. I think the best colorway here is this, by the way. Can you let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree? The Fire Glow colorway from Puma is awesome. Now, for me, I think these two are probably the most comparable to this. Um, I've kept the Alpha Fly away from this for now. Uh, maybe we'll do that as another video, I'm not sure. But I picked these two because for me, this sweet spot is the half marathon. Now I've run both of these shoes in half marathons this year. I've run this at the Great North Run. Check out the video if you've not seen it. Uh, we ran 140 something in the Pro 3. Uh, actually, all these shoes we've run around 140 something, right? Okay, so it's relatively comparable because I've done the same sort of times in all three this year. So if you don't know about this shoe, uh, this is the um, Fast Art Elite. We've got uh, Nitro Elite at the front. We've got EVA in the heel. We've got a uh, power plate going through there. We've got a decoupled midsole. Uh, we've got power tape to add some structure with a mono mesh upper uh super lightweight i think it's eight and a half ounces then we've got the adidas adios pro uh we've got seller mesh 2 we've got light strike pro we've got energy rods 2.0 which are all connected up we've got nice continental rubber fits true to size all these shoes are over 200 pounds by the way um then we've got the pro 3 from Socony, uh which has got the power run pb midsole uh carbon plate in it full length carbon plate with speed roll technology in a new super cool and lightweight upper on it um i think that's there there's the plate um in the shoe energy rods in the shoe see them and i think that's it really briefly for the stats and features okay so in terms of which one do i prefer the most out of these it's probably for race day the adios pro 3 for training it's the pro 3 um this sort of sits in the middle. This is a bit of a funny one for me. I very much enjoyed running in it at the Great North Run, but I just, I, I would personally go for this. If, if you said to me, Fully, you've got to go and do, uh, you know, a reasonable lick at a half marathon, I'm going Pro, uh, Adidas Pro 3. I found myself, because I've been doing, uh, I'm, I've used this uh, or kept this for race focus, I've been finding myself doing more training in this. Even though I said in the videos, um, they've sort of upped their game and made this more of a race-focused shoe, this is a more race-focused shoe than the Pro 2. I stand by that 100%. And you can race in this and run a very good race in this shoe, 100%. Um, but for me, I just like the Adios Pro 3, and I wasn't expecting to like that, by the way. Um, the, uh, if I was going to buy one shoe... It would be this because this does both i wouldn't train in this so can you see the complications right this is out and out race shoe you can definitely wear this for a marathon but i'm talking half marathons here this for me is out and out race shoe i wouldn't train in this but with the pro 3 you can train and race in it and that's the thing with the puma i wouldn't train in this absolutely not this again is is, is a race day focused shoe which is fine but why would you not go for the Adidas Adios Pro 3? And see, that's the problem with the Puma. Puma's a good shoe, a lot of fun to run in, looks awesome, but the Pro 3 for race day is just that little bit better. But you may say, what do you mean, Fordy? Why is it better? I just feel like I can hold speed in this more. Um, it just feels like it's, it's with me, it's underneath me. It's not out and out breakneck speed like a Vaporfly but I just feel like I can continuously hold speed over race distance. I think out of the three of them, this is the best shoe uh, because it offers the most value. You might think I'm nuts because it's over 200 pounds, but you can train and race in this. And that's why I think it offers that versatility and the value because you can do 
both in it. So my pick out of these three for you is this, the Pro 3 from Saucony. If you're looking for one of these for race day, I would go for this, uh, the Adidas. And probably with the Puma, maybe you want something different, then you go for the Puma. But to be honest with you, the other two offer something that a little bit better.